Good afternoon, Pokey Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 8 video, bringing you the gentleman legend, Mewtwo. Now, Mewtwo, I mean, how can you hate Mewtwo? Everyone loves, loves Mewtwo. Everyone remembers the first Pokemon movie with Mewtwo, and Mewtwo being all bad and evil, and then becoming good and nice and, you know, friendly, and it's, it's your classic tale. And who can forget how dumb Mewtwo was in Generation 1 as a Pokemon just because of how dumb Psychic-type was. Let's see if it's still as dumb here in Series 8. Multiple, multiple, like, oh yeah, 25 years later. <laughs> so, that's a lot. Of, that's a long time for Mewtwo to, to get some recognition. Now, we're running the Expanding Force set alongside the Ndidi, which we'll get to later on in this video. We're also running the Thunderous with the Salt Vest. Just because we learned in the last video that we filmed with Berm that... Assault Vest Thunderous is pretty annoying. So let's use it. <laughs> That's essentially how we find new Pokemon to use on this channel. If something annoys us, they, it's probably getting a video. Um, and it also helps the Mewtwo with some uh, speed control, even though Mewtwo does outspeed. But hey, you got Max Airstream. You also have Max Airstream on Mewtwo because I'm running Hurricane. Thunderous is just a good Pokemon. Moving on, we have the Dracovish with Choice Scarf because it hurts. I have the Urshifu here because we want to take care of those ghost types that threaten Mewtwo. We also want to wall those dark types that threaten Mewtwo. And Urshifu is just a great counter to things like Calyrex. So we definitely want to bring that on the team. And here is that Ndidi we were talking about just to help the Mewtwo set up Expanding Force and be absolutely disgusting. Also, eject button, speed control, uh, switcheroo, whimsicott. I don't think I have to explain that one. It's good. Anyway, that's the Mewtwo team. If you guys are hyped to see Mewtwo here on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. Let's give Mewtwo 100 likes. 125 likes. It's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, folks. It deserves a little bit more likes. It's been around for 25 years. Each year is an extra like. And, uh, yeah. Subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. And let's get on to this battle. Going up against It's George. Hey, George. With the Lapdog team, oh boy. Double Intimidate, Lapdog team with Redirection, plus Zapdos. Got it. Um, definitely gonna be a Thunderous game. I would argue that we just leave with Thunderous here. We go Thunderous, and we can also go Thunderous and... Thunderous win? We'll get a little bit of speed control? Or maybe we just save the, save the win for later. We'll do Thunderous... And I'm feeling Thunderous Mewtwo, maybe. We can kind of decide what we want to do from there. Or maybe even Thunderous Urshi. Actually, maybe not Urshi, because Urshi's going to have to fight so many Intimidators and a Zapdos. So that, that's kind of not great. Let's do Wim. Let's do Thunderous. We'll bring in the Ndidi and the Mewtwo in the back. We'll see how a late game Mewtwo does, right? I feel like in practice, a lot of people when they see Mewtwo on a team and they also see Ndidi, they just assume you're going to lead with it. So I wouldn't be surprised if George is going to lead with Incineroar and something else that's a dark type. I don't think he had any of the dark type. Or maybe something else that resists Psychic. Because, you know, they, they see those two things in team preview, they think that's what you want to do. Okay, no, I'm just going to lead Lapras and Lando. I could not be any happier here. This is the best news that you gave me all day. You, I got a plus one Thunderous now. And I got a Whimsicott with Eject Button that can Eject Button the Lapras Dynamax. I'm feeling awfully great. So we're going to Dynamax. We're going to go for the Max Lightning. And do, no, I can, I can go for Max Lightning here because their only ground type is on the field right now. So they have no switch in to the electric move. All, and all I have to do is switch through the Lapras. And... I don't think I Oko the Lapras because I'm a I'm an Assault Vested Thunderous. I'm not like Life Orb or anything, so I don't get too much uh, damage in, damage boosts. So at least this way I can guarantee that I burn the Dynamax. With this uh, best of one cheese. <laughs> but it's honestly a best of one cheese that is way too strong. It's a great way to just remove Dynamaxes from the game. Now, theoretically speaking, they could be Dynamaxing their Landorus and going for a Rockfall. Which would ruin my day. But considering they have a Lapras, they're probably going to want Dynamax the Lapras. Moment of truth, baby. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. So this should 
theoretically be the best turn of our lives. I'm cool with this so far. There's the switcheroo. Thank you, sir. I will take this light clay. Okay. Doesn't make a difference, but hey, as long as the Lapras is leaving. Oh, it's just leaving existence. Oh, that's why. Cool. <laughs> I honestly wasn't expecting to KO it, but hey, that's nice. <laughs> Oh, that's a big feels bad for it's George. Swords dance. Mud dude. Okay. Um very very um ambitious of my opponent. The swords dance in front of me. Especially since I have helping hand boosted max airstreams. That I think are about to come out right about now. So what I'm going to do is go for this max airstream onto Landorus, and I will helping hand boost it. I don't honestly, I don't even think I have to, but I want to kind of have that assurance, right? I want to make sure that, you know, the plus two Landorus doesn't get a free rock side off here because that can that could be kind of bad for us. And I don't really th fear the Zapdos because Zapdos is special and I have a solve vest so I mean uh, this is just thunderous taking the game over I guess <laughs> this is just thunderous doing thunderous things heat wave is gonna connect to a lot of damage from my whim though but absolutely nothing with thunderous ooh the Zation though that's a little scary and I can't switch through the Zation either to give it a useless item. I think what I'm going to do is max lighting the Zapdos. And then set up a Tailwind here. We're still plus one. The Zapdos is still neutral to electric. And this Tailwind will help to have my Mewtwo outspeed the Zation when I bring it out in the upcoming turn. Zapdos detect, okay, they're gonna keep the Zapdos around for one more turn, try to burn my Dynamax, I respect it. it looks like they might take the turn to take care of my whim here. That was a crit too. Yeah, they're just taking out my whim. Eh, that's fine. I got the Tailwind up, got what I needed, and now it's time to bring Mewtwo. Bring Mewtwo, have Mewtwo do something this battle. Question is, do I, do I even bother set up the Psychic Terrain? I guess I should, this is the Mewtwo video, and we got such a lead right now that I guess the plus one, plus one that I'm about to lose on Thunderous isn't going to matter in the end. So let's just go into the DD. And let's fire off an Expanding Force. We'll see how much it does. <laughs> Zapdos can't hide from it. Which is nice because Zapdos will probably be going down because of this. Remember, this is a lot of damage that Mewtwo outputs here. It's got a disgustingly high special attack with, with like a base 130 speed as well. All right, switch out of Thunderous, change the terrain, bring in the Ndidi, and we'll see how much we do to the Zacian. Let's see this damage. Okay, just absolutely nothing to Zacian, but at least it knocks out the Zapdos. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they just attack my Mewtwo, my poor little Mewtwo. Me too, please. Ouch! Well, uh, you two got to attack at least. <laughs> Let's bring back the Thunderous. 
wishes it still had all of its stat boosts. And let's follow me just to stall this out a little bit longer. Let's go for the wild charge since it's our highest damage output against the Zacian. And I think two wild charges should do it. And we still do outspeed Zacian for a couple more turns. If my opponent realizes this, then they should be protecting the stall at our tailwind. They got a lot of crucial chaos with uh, Zacian, let me tell you. Granted, I did kind of spoon feed one to them. That's not enough. I have to help a hand boost this next one. Oh no. Do I even live this? Hardly max defense EVs coming in clutch. All right. Um, I have to help a hand boost this last one. It, it must be done. And we have to hope he doesn't protect as well. There's the helping hand. Will there be a protect? No protect. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Good red station. We almost lost that somehow. <gasps> oh boy, GG. Okay. <laughs> Why? Well, okay, we played with fire a little bit, so that's good. <laughs> Ooh, colossal and dragonite. That's kind of a threat. But we do have follow me to redirect the aqua jet. So I think no matter what happens here, Indeedy has to come in the lead. Yeah, for sure. Actually, their whole team kind of falls to a Mewtwo and Ndidi. Except for the Ensign. But if they lead with Ensign, they're not doing, like, damage to me, so I'm not even too worried. So I'll do the Ndidi, do the Mewtwo, bring the Fish. Because Fish can just delete the Colossal and the Ensign. And how do I deal with the rest of the team? I think Urshifu is a pretty good option there. Could also do Thunderous. I don't really see what Thunderous would do beyond, you know, just taking care of Urshifu. Not Urshifu, taking care of the Amoongus and the Rillaboom. Which could help, who knows. It's between Thunderous and Ursh. I guess I'm leading Ursh. I'm not leading Ursh, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling Urshifu is more viable in this matchup just because it does offer a way to deal with the Dialga as well. well. Let's not forget about the restricted mon on their team, which is Dialga, which is already hard enough to deal with on its own. Uh, we kind of do want something with a super effective stab against it. My dude's still searching the Crown Tundra. Okay, they lead with Colossal and Dragonite. This is the best news I could have received today. Because all we gotta do is a uh, is, uh, follow me, the Aqua Jet, and we will be okay. I don't know if Dragonite gets Surf or anything. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's hope we hurt. Thing is, like, we could... If they go for Surf, we could just try to help a hand boost this Colossal damage. No, let's just follow me. Just in case they Aqua Jet. Just in case for some reason they think Indeedee doesn't have follow me. <laughs> they went for Protect. I'm, I'm not too mad about that. That's honestly great. What is Dragonite doing? Uh, nothing. I guess. Because this is Life Orb boosted, expanding force from a mute. Oh, multi skills OP too, I guess. Dual wing beat. I gotta say, I'm not mad. I am. And DD is doing what it has to do, right? And DD is taking the damage. Um, They do have a Rillaboom they could swap into. So I think instead of expanding force, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the Dynamax trigger here, and we're going to max Mindstorm into Colossal, which is probably gonna be the Rillaboom switch in, and then I'm still gonna go for Follow Me here. It kind of sucks because one more dual wing beat will knock me out. Okay, so then I should go for the Dragonite. Is what that's telling me. So it's Dynamax. Let's go for Airstream on Dragonite, and then let's follow me. That way we get a little bit of speed as well. 
Which who knows can help us later on. Now they're not switching here, which is kind of fine. They might have not brought Rillaboom if they're not switching. Because that's just such an easy thing to do to stop my expanding force just to hard swap and change my terrain. Unless they're just th that committed to getting this this uh, this uh Aqua Jet off. But if you get rid of the Dragonite, get rid of the Aqua Jet. Essentially. And if you get rid of the Aqua Jet, then you're kind of you're kind of in a pretty good position because the Colossal can't get the Steam Engine, and then you're fine. Anyway, they're still gonna Dynamax their Colossal. That's honestly surprising to me. But if they don't have Rillaboom in the back, I can Helping Hand boost the Max Mindstorm into this Colossal and ruin it. Just tried to East Speed in second terrain. Okay, cool. Anyway. <laughs> We're getting rid of Dragonite. Unless they felt like they weren't affected by it because they're flying? Um, no, because you're still hitting something that's touching the ground, sir. Sadly, sadly. Now, let's see what Colossal does. Probably just going to Vocalith. Yep. Okay, so I can't Helping Hand this next turn because this will probably knock out my Ndidi. But, honestly, that's fine. Because now... It's Dracovish time. <laughs> now we go straight Dracovish. They didn't set up the the rain, so that means we're outspeeding the Colossal, and we could just Drake a Vision until the end of time. Now they could go in Insin, which would be a little bit bad. Dialga, I'm kind of cool with that. Um, we can't really hit it too well. Um. I guess Max Mindstorm is technically our highest damage output because we get Stab plus Psychic Terrain. So I guess we'll go for Mindstorm. And then we're going to go for a Ficious Ren onto Colossal. I could have also gone for a Max Phantasm. That's fine. Oh, no, that's not fine. Because he's just trying to KO my Dracovish now. That does have to Dialga. Not very affected. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I felt like if I doubled into the Alga, I might have been able to take it there. If I went for like- Oh! Oh no. I guess that make that does make sense. That definitely, definitely does make sense. I'm in a pickle now. But I think I have to go for the Mindstorm on Colossal here. I think I have to double into this Colossal. This Dialga set up Trick Room, it did the scary thing. I'm in, I think I'm in danger. That that one turn where he changed the speed on me might, might mess me up for the rest of this game. Because he has the tools to win this, right? He has the probably Draco Meteor slash Roar of Time for some reason. If they wanted to do Roar of Time into my Dracovish would ruin me. This shouldn't knock me out though. Because remember, we didn't get our weakness policy broken. So at the very least, we get the Max Mindstorm into this Colossal. Oh my goodness, they don't have Draco. That flash cannon. Oh, this isn't doing anything to me. That's not going to knock out Colossal, but remember. I actually want its steam engine proc now. Because now, in Trick Room, it's like... <laughs> it's going through the roof. Uh, its speed's going through the roof, so I don't even care. But regardless, this mind short, this Mindstorm should like more than enough take it out, right? No. Actually doesn't. Wow. That's a little surprising. Um, it's Dynamax ends, which means our Dynamax is ending. Um, the fact that it's Dynamax ended first means it outspeeds us. Because I think the Dynamax turns don't get, don't have Trick Room taken into account for some reason. It's a very awkward turn to be in right now. I'm not too concerned with the Alka because we can come in and knock it out. I'm going to actually protect here just to preserve a Mewtwo for one turn. And I'm going to rend the Colossal. Since it seems like the only thing Dialga has to hit my Dragovish is Flash Cannon, I think we're okay. They protect with Colossal as well, so that's kind of fine as well. 
In Flash Cannon time, Mewtwo. Okay, so they're targeting the Mewtwo spot. That's a little bit surprising. I felt like they would have wanted to at least do some damage to the Dracovish. Ooh. Is that Vocalith going to knock me out now because of the Flash Cannon? It's a little awkward. It's a very awkward situation. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball into Dialga since... No, I have to double in. I have to at least guarantee Colossal goes down this turn. I don't know why I'm Shadow Balling. I guess I should go for Expanding Force if I'm going for Colossal. No, just on the off chance we KO Colossal with one, I'll go for Shadow Ball into the Dialga spot, which is more... Which is a lot better option. So we'll do it this way. No matter what, Colossal goes down unless they switch. They try to go for the double, don't get it. Flash Cannon's gonna connect on whom? On Mewtwo. Okay, so Dracovish should be knocking out Colossal here. Uh, which means we can bring in Urshifu, protect with Urshifu. Then hopefully finish off the Dialga, but they have one more Pokemon in the back. That Trick Room ruins so many things. Okay. <laughs> Urshifu, please. At least second terrain is gone so I can Sucker Punch again. But still, man. Insane. That is not what you want to see, folks. I mean, it's not like the end of the world. It's just really unfortunate. <laughs> so I, I also take vocal damage, don't I? Oh, no, I didn't take vocal damage. Is vocal over? Trick room's over in one more turn. I don't know if I should bother protecting. I will. I'm going to protect Urshi. And then rend the... Ensign, just in case it lets they like uh, let they let my Dracovish survive this turn. They let my Dracovish survive this turn, I'll be super surprised. But this is still anyone's game. That's the scary thing about it. Is that anyone can still win this. And the fake up pressure from the late game in uh late game Ensign is like really oppressive. Okay, there's my protect. For Rick Break. Okay. Oh my goodness, they double down. My Dracovich gets to survive this turn and then outspeed next turn. That's wild. Twisted or Dimensions Return to Normal. I have to go for this Dialga here. So I'm going to Wickable the Dialga and I'm going to Fish this from the Incin. And I think that's our best play. We are still in the sun, but we're going to be outspeeding with this Fish's Run damage. Which will double it. Which still doesn't take it out. Now that I'm looking at it. But I think it's still our best option. Yeah, it lives out of a sliver. Good news is... We're gonna get the Wicked Blow off, which wasn't affected by the Intimidate. I just have to hope it's enough damage to take out this Dialga. Dialga's are very tanky! Yeah- Oh no! It lived at one! But it went for Flash Cannon! Did it double down on my Urshi again? They did! I got an important decision to make! Okay, Dialga has Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Trick Room. Instant has Brick Break so far. I wish I could switch my moves, but I'm locked on to Fish's Rend. This would be a great time to Rock Slide here. <laughs> I think I'd, I'd go for Dialga. I think go for Dialga, because I don't, I don't survive an Earth Power. And I might survive a Brick Break. Dracovish has higher defense than it has attack, people. Come on! No. Oh. It was a close game. Oh, it all came down to like Dialga living at 1 HP and that Intimidate ruining my... The thing is, if I doubled into Dialga, I think I would have had a chance there. So that was winnable. 
It's just me underestim- or overestimating the amount of damage the HP was gonna do. Anyway, that was a sweet battle, folks. I, th I don't think we can deny that at all. Sun... I, I was gonna say Sun Room Team, but there's no Trick Room Setter, so I guess just Sun Team. Sun Team with a Glacier in case we have Trick Room? Interesting. I mean, Moltres clearly threatens my team a lot, so we definitely need to bring the Thunderous. If we bring Thunderous, we also need something to take care of the Groudon. This ain't an easy game, by any means. It might be Thunderous Whim, though. As our best option. Bring the Mewtwo, bring the... See, Dragonish would be nice with the Sun Team, so it's kind of, uh... Kind of just asking to be abused. So I guess we do Urshi. Urshi at least takes care of the Glacier, takes care of the Dragapults, and does neutral damage to Groudon. Our biggest threat, I think, on this team is gonna be the Groudon. We'll see how this goes. And since they have the NDD, I kinda don't wanna bring NDD. It seems a little bit redundant to do so. Um, as long as we knock out this Moltres, we should be pretty good against Punisher 1008. <laughs> 10 out of 10 name. Punisher. The Punisher. Moltres Dragapult. Thanks for showing me the one Pokemon I want to KO. That couldn't make me any happier. Um, Dragapult, I don't actually know what it wants to do, but it probably wants to burn. So, I also want to take care of that, not gonna lie. Could darkness it. Um. Yeah, I can't really avoid that burn without sacrificing too much. So, I think I'm gonna Dynamax. Darkness into Dragapult. Followed by... I want to switch Aruba, Dragapult's going to outspeed. Oh, by Tailwind, just a basic Tailwind. I want to get at least one Darkness off. Just because that Dragapult Will-O-Wisp is threatening. Same time, at least we know that Dragapult is not Dynamaxing this turn. It's probably just going to be support Dragapult. Can't think of any other thing that it wants to do right now. And then Moltres, maybe we'll Dynamax? No, no Dynamax. Okay. Nasty plot question mark? My only hope is that this Dragapult doesn't have... Uh, I don't even KO it. Such underwhelming damage sometimes when I saw Vested Thunderous, let me tell you. Screens! And the wrong one! Okay. <laughs> the wrong screens. Got it. How about I just blow up this Moltres now with Helping Hand Boost? Yep. We're doing it. I don't care if it has weakness policy. I believe that we should be able to, uh, to Oko. Because Moltres' defenses aren't quite all there. And regardless, if it has weakness policy, well, it's plus two already anyway. So at this point, it's already outgoing things. Might as well go further beyond if you want. <laughs> Alright, there's the Moltres Dynamax. I can only hope my helping hand boosted Max Lightning into the Moltres is enough to knock it out. Um, we're gonna get the attack off before the Dragapult can get a Reflect up, which is all that I really need. There's no burn happening either. Well, something's dying. Oh, it's the whim. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> whim did its thing. 
Problem is, he's a little faster now, but I think if we go in with... We have no good option. These are both two bad options. Oh, no. I guess we have to go into Ursh. Good. Groundhog's coming out now. We still do have Tailwind. Issue is, I don't think we can Oko the Moltres with Lightning. And even then, I think it's going to protect this turn, to be honest. We could double down Groudon, predicting the Moltres protect. And we will. This is a little risky, but we're going to do it. This is very risky, but we're going to do it. We, we should be attacking Moltres here. But Max Guard is going to happen. That is a smile on my face. Nice. Good riddance, Groudon. Oh, wait, maybe not. I don't think I KO Groudon there. Maybe if I, if I would have went for, like, uh, Max Knuckle. Only other issue is that now my Dynamax runs out, too. Dang, even by doubling in Groudon, I still didn't knock it out. And it's going to go for Rock Slide. Yikes. Okay. Oh, it's a Life Orb. Wow. All right. What do we even do now? I don't even know what to do. I kind of have to wait until Moltres. Until Moltres' Dynamax ends. So I'm going to go into Mewtwo. I'll swap Mewtwo there and then go for the Sucker Punch onto Groudon just to knock it out. Like, I, if I'm going to attack Moltres, I need to attack Moltres. I just hope it doesn't airstream, which it will, right? If it airstreams, it matches the Tailwind. It's going to knock something out here. Oh, thank goodness it doesn't airstream. Okay, I went for Darkness. Okay, bye Mewtwo! Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right. We sacked me to there. We kind of had to. And I believe we still have Tailwind for one more turn. No, we don't. Oh, my goodness. GG, I guess. Ally Switch is going to ruin our life. This is so dumb. <laughs> that was my only opportunity to KO. Oh, no. That's so silly. I switch Dragapult is silly. Granted, I'm running a Jack Button strat, so I guess I can't complain. I'm gonna wild charge Moltres, and I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch on Venu. Yeah, might as well. If I'm gonna protect Moltres, protect Venu. Wow, different. And then what? Just Fiery Wrath. Yeah. I can only hope my assault vest is enough. Oh my goodness, my assault vest! Do it. Do it! We're still in this. Not really, because how do we KO the Venusaur, right? Light screen wears off, that's irrelevant. How many turns of sun you got left? Like a thousand? Two. Might as well stall one. We'll stall one turn. We'll also see what Venusaur wants to do, right? I think it's all Venusaur got has to do is attack me with a Sludge Bomb and win the game. Yeah, that's what it wants to do. My option here is to Sucker Punch and that's it. Electric Terrain wears off too, so it could theoretically put me to sleep here as well, but why would it even bother, right? You just have to hit a Sludge Bomb and win the game. 
Like maybe a sucker punch crits, but even then. I think my opponent has this. Let's just sucker punch anyway. Yeah, not even a 2 KO. That's GG. Uh, we tried so hard. Oh, uh, ally switch, man. Uh, we're going to take home two losses today. We lost the Punisher, man. <laughs> we lost the Punisher. He punished us. <laughs> uh, at, at the very least, the two losses that we did have were very close, right? It's not like we got completely swept. They all came down to one Pokemon. They all came down to a little bit of HP. And a little bit of hacks. Uh, Ally Switch is a dumb move. I hope they delete it from the game. I hope whatever next gen game exists, they just don't make it a stupid TR. Like, make it hard to get. Make it so that only Pokemon that learn it naturally can get it. So that only five Pokemon in the decks can get it versus 190 something. That's my Ally Switch rant. Let me get you guys this rental code. And that's the Mewtwo team. If you guys enjoyed this video, you don't want to hit the like button down below. And if you guys enjoyed Mewtwo, let me know down below in the comment section as well. It did okay today. It did damage when it needs to do damage, but there's honestly a lot of dark types in the meta. So it is kind of hard to get it going, right? It does take a little bit of uh, a little bit of switching around, a little bit of preservation, trying to get yourself into those good board positions and those good matchups. But all in all, uh, Thunderous is great. I had a great time with Thunderous today, and I think Urshifu can be good, but definitely has been seeing better days than it is right now. That's also my personal opinion. But hey, overall, the team's really fun. It did a lot better in practice than it, it did today, I guess. You know, a lot of that had to do with hacks, a lot of that had to do with matchups. Um, so, it, you know, sometimes you have your good days, sometimes you have your bad days. At least the losses that we had weren't sweeps, right? We, we definitely. Gave our opponents a run for their money, which is all I can honestly ask for. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys had a lot of fun here, then make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to Broke Sparts because we have streams coming later. We're gonna we're gonna kind of rework the channel uh, schedule around a little bit to get you guys two streams a week. One for Mike, one for myself. Mine will be on Tuesdays. Mike's will be on Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hope to see you guys there for more Pokemon. Anyway, I'm Kevin. It's Pokesports of Great Night. Peace out.